What's up guys? So this bicycle, I just came back from doing a ride up a hill. I tried to go as hard as I could. It was, it was fucking awesome. I felt pretty great afterwards. Like, you know, I mean, my throat was hurting a bit because the way I was breathing, I was like, <sighs> but, um, and uh, I just felt like I could have pushed a little harder, even though the breathing was a little off, but it felt really good. I can't wait. I'm actually getting some coaching advice from, uh, from someone from, <laughs> and, uh, you know, they told me, you know, to go hard, um. My diet is good. I'm eating rice and clean, low fat. So uh, we'll see. Um, I actually really like the advice. I'm going to try it. Like the thing is, I'm such a noob. I don't know when I sh how how many times I need to be going hard. My, I'm scared of overtraining. Uh, you know, I have I have a weird injury thing where my legs, um, like like I'll be riding for a minute and then my my quads will like f start feeling very sensitive and almost like there's a bunch of knots knots in my quads and then it'll go away and then maybe ha 20 minutes later 10 minutes later it's back and then i'm not even out of breath or anything it just and if i push through that pain when it happens my i get the pain becomes so strong i'm paralyzed like i can't walk and it hurts to walk it's happened before it hasn't happened recently it happened maybe a year ago but the pain is always there so but i'm going to try I've been taking B12 shots, I've been taking iron and what do you call it, vitamin C, I've been trying to go to bed early and asking from God, asking God to also, you know, to, to, to help me, uh, you know, nothing is impossible for God. Anyways, so yeah, the derailleur isn't working, like it won't shift all the way at the bottom, but this video isn't about the derailleur. Um, I already tried lubing it with some, with some T9, but... It doesn't work. I'm going to check the cable. Maybe there's a lot of friction. Anyways, the video is going to be, this is going to be a bit of a dark video. So hopefully you have some, you're next to some sunshine and you're next to like someone you love. Because this is going to get dark. Okay. So now I've shared this story about me when uh, I went out with this girl. Um, first of all, I love YouTube because like, I like sharing my adventures and my experiences, especially when I talk about an issue I have with my, you know, like maybe insecurity. I talk it out and then it just feels cathartic, very therapeutic. Like, I'm like, mm, you know what? Uh, I, I start to sort of become aware of things that I wasn't aware of. Like, uh, maybe I'll say I have anxiety and this, 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 something, I don't know. So, uh, I, this girl I saw a while back, I've talked about her before on my channel. If you don't know what, it, if you don't know, I'll, I'll do a quick summary. I saw this girl. I met this girl. I thought she was very cute, very hot, very sexy. She worked on bikes. She rode bikes, and she seemed very sweet. She had a very good work ethic. Now she smoked weed and she went clubbing and things like that. That doesn't make her a bad person or anything, but you know, it kind of. I think gives a bit of a, you know, a story. Anyways, I'm pretty sure, and my friends even say, like, she's probably been around a couple of sausages, you know? She's, she's had a few. Yeah, I could see it. But anyways, because of, because of that story, I told myself, like, she likes bikes, she's got a strong worth ethic, ethic. I think I want to be in a relationship with her. I like her, you know, I really like her. And, you know, we, we almost had sex. You know, I, I came over to her place one time, I, we got naked, kissing and all that stuff, but I couldn't get it up. That was like the first time I almost lost my virginity. I'm pretty sure I felt something. And anyways, long story short, nothing happened. She was like, yeah, it's cool, whatever, you know. But anyways, uh, after that, I remember... Um, when we didn't have sex, I, I came over to her place. I, I tried to be like a good boyfriend and I brought some food for her and a flower. I was like, here you go. And then after that, something felt different, you know, probably because I couldn't get up for her. So she was looking for some other guy. Um, and that's fine. I didn't know that back then. I know that now. Anyways, and there's this new guy that, um, she, that, you know, 
I, I got to know, and he, he seemed like a fuckboy, had, he had like good hair, he, he kind of reminded me of James Dean a bit, I don't know if you know who that is, but, but he had like a lot of acne, and um, very skinny guy, but seemed strong, uh, and he's, he's pretty funny, definitely seems like, I remember he'd share like, I have a girlfriend here, I have another girlfriend there, I have all these girlfriends, I was like, okay. Uh, now I, w- I kind of wish I could have connected with him because I would appreciate. I, I want to be like that guy. I want to be a fuck boy. Have girls here now, not just a fuck boy though. I want to be a, be able to be a good friend, be in a relationship, all these things. But so he's like he's like one part I would want to access. Anyways, I started imagining that the girl I started seeing him and that he started banging her. And then I have started having these intrusive thoughts in my head where I'd be like imagining the, the sex and then it fucked me up and I started getting depressed. I remember I just wanted to like, I wanted to die. I wanted to like, I was in a car with someone and I was like, I, was, I wanted to open up the door and just jump out. I remember crying and being in the shower and being like, <laughs> Um, and just imagining it, and I started imagining my friends getting with her, and just imagining the sex, it was very, it's very fucked up, and, uh, eventually, I mean, I did take it out on her, maybe, like, one time, I, I got a little upset with her, I was like, I didn't curse her out or anything, I didn't yell at her, I was just like, I was, it was just, it, I was just, like, mean, um, and it took me time to get over it. Eventually, I reached, I reached out to her and I apologized. And uh, you know, we saw each, we saw, our, we saw our, each other once. You know, I, she she came over because she needed help with a bicycle, and I, I helped her out. Um, and then after that, we we didn't talk. She's got a boyfriend, and I hope she's happy with him. It's weird, right? Now that she's got, she's seeing someone. Um, it's like I, I'm not worried about it. Like she, you know, she's probably, you know, she's having sex with him, but before it was hurting me. I don't know why. I think it's because it, I don't know. Anyways, so I just started recently talking to this other girl, and I like her. I don't, know. I don't think she really knows it. Maybe probably she does. But anyways, I started talk talking to this girl, and she started telling me, and I like her too. She's she she also is like she rides bikes and things like that. Um. And she started sharing with me about herself and her past relationships. She told me about this one guy who was, who was very, like, I want to say emotional. Like, he gets crazy, he gets upset with her or something like that. I don't know. You know. Um, and she, she, he reached out to her <clears throat> and he was like, when he told her, hey, you know, I, I don't want to get in a relationship, but. She just, he wants to be friends with benefits. And she was like, you know, I'm thinking about getting getting back with him and things like that. <clears throat> and, you know, we, I'm not talking to her right now, but um, after the call, I started thinking to myself, imagining, you know, women want that. Women want those kinds of men. Now, relationship-wise, probably not. But to have sex with, yeah, that's what they want. <clears throat> so, now maybe ideally not that. Maybe they would prefer someone a bit more sober. Maybe more someone who's, you know, on his purpose, emotionally grounded, and can really, like, fuck her also, but, like, be a friend, be a mentor, all these things. You know, women have, like, needs. I forget how many needs, but maybe it's, like, five. They want a friend. They want a boyfriend. They want a mentor. They want a fuck boy. And I think that was it. Maybe there was, I forget the last one. <clears throat> but anyways, and this guy maybe gives her like two or three out of what she wants. And then I started imagining her, because I like her, I started imagining, you know, the sex. I was like, fuck. I was, it was like just getting in my head. And here I am trying to fix my bike. So I, because I got to go somewhere in a few hours, I got to bike 20 kilometers, no, 40 kilometers, which is 20 miles. Um, and then I got a, I'm volunteering for, to help out with a party and uh, trying to get this bike working. We got hurricane season, so hopefully it's not going to rain and it's too windy or cold. But anyways, I started, I started working my bike and then I started feeling depressed. Like at first I was happy. I was listening to some cool music. I was jamming out to myself just, you know, and then the, the thought just came in. Boom. 
And I just started imagining her, him, him and her having sex. Then I started thinking to myself, man, she doesn't care about me. She doesn't, you know, whatever. <clears throat> I feel worthless. But I can feel myself fighting back in, 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 inside. I don't want to be depressed. I don't want to be insecure. You know, I want to, if anything, I want to wish them well. It's like, I hope, you know, they, if they hook up or whatever, they're, at least they're kind of happy. Maybe, probably not because the relationship sounds kind of fucked up. But <clears throat> in times like these, I wasn't, I'm not, I would, like I said, I would get depressed and suicidal. But now, you know, uh, it's hard. I don't really know what to do because like, I would just be like, oh, I'm just going to focus on boxing. I want to focus on learning the guitar, focus on this, talk to other girls. But when I do all that and then I start to feel happy, the thought will pop up in my head of, you know, these people having sex. And I'd be like, fuck, what's the point of anything? I'm, uh, why, am I, why am I doing this? What's the point? You know? It, <clears throat> I, <clears throat> I've, this has happened multiple times. This isn't the first time. So, I've been getting, I've been trying, I've been getting closer to God, reading the Bible, you know, adopting Christian values. Um, I mean, my goal is though to get with a hundred women, either dating a hundred women, or talking to a hundred women, or having sex with a hundred women. Either way, the thing, reason is because I think each woman is going to help me become more confident, or um, <clears throat> you know, teach me things, or. I'll be able to be, get more experience and learn how to <clears throat> make the, the next girl feel better or feel good, whatever. I and mean, maybe out of those 100 women, I find a woman who I vibe with really, really well. We're both strong and healthy and, and her, she's the one I, I, I want to actually have a relationship with. <clears throat> now, within those 100 women, maybe there'll be someone like me who she... She, she, she likes me, but then she, the thought of me having sex with other women like really like makes her sad and depressed and you know messes her up. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm not trying to be a hypocrite here where I'm like, oh, this girl's going to... I'm imagining this girl having sex with this fuck boy, whereas I'm going to be having sex with or seeing other women and this girl, you know, she's going to be sad because I'm dating other women. Eh, so, you know... Times like these is why I really talk to God and pray because, you know, it's, it, it doesn't, like, <clears throat> you know, you want to be Christian on one hand and then you want to see all these women, which I think in the Bible, you know, it's like sin, lust, all these things. But the, my goal is just to become experienced so that when I really find the girl I'm really interested in, I know how to keep her. I know how to push your buttons, right? <clears throat> but that's just, you know, modern times call for modern solutions. But anyways, I hope this, this video wasn't too depressing. You know, let's keep, let's keep pushing. Let's keep working hard. Um, life is short. You know, thank you, God, for another day. Thank you, God, for this beautiful day. Thank you for me being able to talk to this girl that I like. Even, you know, even though she shared that story... But that's the thing I need because I need to get stronger. I need to become stronger mentally, physically. So like, you know, things like this, women will say, women will do, people will do to us, things like that. But we got to get stronger <clears throat> and be grateful. Like, she's cool. She's a nice girl. She didn't intend anything bad. But um, <clears throat> she's got to get better. She's gotta, we got to help other people. And anyways, that's it. I tried to end on a happy note so it's not too depressing. Hopefully the story was interesting. Leave a comment <clears throat> if you relate. Hopefully, I, I kind of helped you a little bit by sharing my experience. Anyways, hopefully I can get this bike working. Peace out. <clears throat>